because of how we had pulled it off, the guys at the World Bank thought Jay and I were superstars. So, uh, World Bank's role in this was they were? They provided a lot of the technical support, they provided a, some of the money, they paid for some of the stuff. So financial, technical, yes, and... But they're and, not paying us. Us, we were volunteers. So they were, they, they were, the resources were being given to government. Yes. Uh, you guys were volunteering with government. Yes. So this was a government-led activity. Activity. Yes. All right. Okay. Um, it's just that we were providing. Also, you could say that we were, we, us and the World Bank were the same. We were you all also, you supporting. You also the technicians yes. behind it. Yeah. We're just providing support. Mm, mm. So now the guys at the World Bank thought that Jay and I were superstars. Oh, but you are. You are the so chair of said, this. He's the vice uh, chair of this. If you pull this off here, mm. let's go to Ghana. You help us pull it off there. Ooh. So we go to Ghana. All right. Then we go to South Sudan. Then we go No, no, to you're moving too fast. So you go to Ghana. <laughs> you're establishing in, in Ghana from scratch. Yeah, there was already some conversation. Oh, there was, there was now, a basic infrastructure. Uh, we conversation. sort of go and the conversation comes uh, to life. To life, and uh -huh. now it becomes clear. Yeah. And in Kenya, it was called Kodi. In uh, Kodi, K O D O. Kenya Open Data Initiative. Yes. Kodi. Yes. In Ghana, it was called Godi. Godi. Yeah. In Tanzania, it became Todi, Todi and yeah. so on and so forth. Yeah. And then we were shifted off to Moldova. Ah. And we were told, let's talk to the Moldovans, let's mm -hmm. talk to the Sudanese, and so on. That became so you became kind of ambassadors, uh, go-to guys. Yes, we became across, like ambassadors. Yeah, to sort of try and con be the convincer yeah. for different countries to do open data. Mm -hmm. Now, in the course of that, mm -hmm. by 2010, see, we are doing this in 2010, 2011. Yeah. 2011 now is when. Um, we launch Open Data in May, mm. um, and still, I'm still trying to do this good thing with, uh, you know, my marketing agency. Yeah, um, that is supporting, and luckily, I have good partners who are yeah. carrying a lot of the sh the the heavy burden. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, people like my partner there is called Conrad Moshu. Yes. So he's he's carrying the the, quite the a heavy bit of lifting. The burden, yeah. With uh, mm. another guy called Simon Oshira. They're, 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 the, are, they're your partners or yes. employees? So they're partners. All right. Uh, okay. So they they they're struggling with this thing <laughs> while I'm doing all this meandering and all yeah. that. Um, and they allowed me the space to sort of give the direction and then they okay. would okay. make it happen. Mm. And then a proposal came that mm -hmm. you know maybe the open institute should be started i, I want to hear about that so very what keenly what was happening was mm -hmm. that we are moving around mm. and we jay and i are not at any level development practitioners per mm. se mm. Um, we know what needs to happen mm. um, and we want transparency that's yeah. That's really all we're That's doing. That's the core yeah. of why you're doing this. And we have a jobs. Mm. So this we are doing because we just believe it's service. Mm. So, sorry, when World Bank asks, starts asking you to move with them across all this pay, are you now on their payroll? No. They will pay for the flight and they will pay for uh, our accommodation. And per diem and all. And per diem, but they're not paying us. So you're not their employees. We're not their employees. You're just like ambassadors yes. for them. Yes. Hmm. Okay, so okay. we're going for conferences, we are doing all these things mm. then. Mm. And that's one of the things that I, I think I tell a lot of young guys. Mm. Nothing you do for free is wasted. Mm. And you know that story, we were volunteering here for the, giving service to the country. Mm. Um, it was free. Mm. We didn't know where it was going to come to, mm. but you know, there are people who are watching what you're doing mm. and they like what you're mm. doing. And at some point it comes back to help. Mm. I'll give you another example. Scroll back many years before to when I was still, you know, trying, I'm broke again, mm. I'm trying to make things happen, I've just finished with ATIG, I don't really know what I'm doing. Mm. There was a six months, no, four months period where you've done proposals, you've done whatever. You know that, period, everybody has been through this. Mm. You've done proposals, you've done everything you're supposed to do. There's nothing more for you to do, you just have to wait. Any entrepreneur can identify with this. Mm. You have to wait for somebody to give you the job, mm. but you don't have money and you have nothing to do. So I, I would sit in the house and I have nothing to do. I can't. So eventually what I did is that I walked to town. I went to Tomboya Street and I walked into a restaurant on Tomboya Street. It used to be the restaurant. When you're coming from the Gilhouse side, you're on Tomboya Street. Mm. 
you're coming towards Accra Road. Mm. Just before you get to Accra Road, where those matatus are, mm. on the right here used to be a restaurant. Mm. It was a very old restaurant. It has been there for years and mm. years and years. Mm. I walked into that restaurant. I said hi to the owner. And I said, I want to work here for free. I'll clean your floors if that's what you want me to do. I just don't want to be in the house doing nothing. So you don't have to pay me. But if I serve and I get commissions, that's, all, that's what I get. So the guy agreed. And I started working there. And, and he said, you must be the cleaner then. So I used to arrive there at 6 a.m. I cleaned the restaurant, Panga. And then now, uh, when people start coming in at 7, I'm serving a chai, mandazi bean, blah, 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 like that. And suddenly Hi. I now have started to know uh, what this guy does, what that guy does, what that other guy does, and so on and so forth. We are making friends and so on. And I'm getting great commission, I mean, tips um, as I'm going. So by the end of it, I was not going hungry because I was getting a little bit of chums. I was getting to know people. And it was one of those people who gave me an opportunity that I was looking for. Do you see that? So my... And I'm impressed because the the, 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 the the things that you had... This is... You're talking about that that little experience you shared there. That's somewhere in your mid-20s. Yeah. You have... In fact, it was early 20s. Yeah. Yeah. And the things you've been able... You, that you had done before can you can sort of say you would dismiss this kind of experience yes. and so thank you so much for sharing it you would dismiss this kind of experience because you're saying i have experienced higher life yes i've experienced more money yes i've experienced i've worked with the billions so why am i yeah why am i yeah. stooping this yes. low but you still went on ahead and may did I, it may because I you're no like problem stooping exactly you're I'm like no problem working just because I've worked here, yeah, I have no problem coming and working. No, that's here. that's that's incredible. Because Thank you for sharing. Because what happened is every time I worked here, I went back. Up. It elevates you. Okay. Because no, it's, it's 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 a really so uh, interesting. The, the big thing that, that I've that always told through. guys is please, if 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 you have nothing to do, then don't do it. Just go do something else. Yeah. It doesn't matter what it is that you do. Mm. It doesn't matter if you go and become a cleaner, if you go and work in a farm, whatever it is. Get something. To There's do. something that it adds in you that mm. changes how you think that Im opens your mind up and whatever it is so even when we were serving here now in tw in 2011 2012 now we are serving um, you know at the you know when the world bank is calling us to go different places and we're serving different places we are also opening our minds to how different countries are working to what the challenges are mm. i mean mm. we went to one country and we met the president um, and his ministers and they listened and they made all the right noises about transparency. They said, you know, this is very important. We must do this. And then uh, the president said, uh, Mr. Al, when ever, let everybody go. You stay behind for a minute. And then he said, he says, listen, you are my fellow African. If you are getting money from this World Bank, guys, uh, then it's fine. You can continue with this thing. I can tell you now, it was Mze Garang from South Sudan. Mm. He says, you know, if I, I know your father. So listen, if uh, you, you are getting money by pushing this transparency thing here in South Sudan, then by all means, go ahead. However, I want you to know something. It may not work very well here at this point. Because the political temperature is that we must allow the freedom fighters to eat. So you see, you automatically know this is a no-go. You've been given the intel by no more than the president himself. Mm. So what he would do is that if we said yes, he would do lots of mm. workshops and stuff mm. like that. And it enabled us to change the direction. And the strategy. And the strategy. So mm. instead of working with the government on open data, mm. instead of working with journalists so that they get better mm. at looking for data mm. so that they... Yeah. Uh, yeah. They, they force transparency in a Because that, that is Intel. Because what you want is, tra is transparency. Yeah. Mm. So that level of, mm. uh, of thing that we did mm. then got guys at the World Bank and a few other guys to say, you know what, I wish you guys had an organization who would mm. have funded you better. Because mm. this work that you're doing is work that is important and, you know, we would have funded you. Mm.